All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Spider Dot Realm. Um, yeah. So t in today's episode, what we are going to be doing is uh, we're going to be building a more permanent fish smelter, dude. And uh, yeah, um, I'm going to turn up this. Just because, even though you guys are only going to see it in 24 frames, I would like to see something better. Um, as you can see, our cow-sheep population has gone down quite a bit. And that's because I was crashing the realm. Because I would be sitting here AFK farming, and there were just so many entities crammed into such a small area that it would crash. And, um, let's see, I think I cleared this out. So, everything from the fish farm now has a spit. Oh, oh boy. Alright, everything from the fish farm now has a very specific spot. Jesus Christ, dude. Thank you. God damn it. Alright, everything in here. You. Your mom is a hoe. Okay. Max murder you. Okay. Like I was saying, everything in the fish farm, from the fish farm, has its own specific spot. So right here we have the printed books, of which there are quite a bit now. Um, I go ahead and throw everything away that has a curse of binding or a curse of the other thing that I can't remember. Um, I'm going to turn down game volume. Just Actually, I'm going to do it in Minecraft, not in OBS. Master volume, 30%. Okay, and then we have uh, good bows and rods, even unenchanted ones, just so, you know, in case we don't get mending. Actually, a lot of the fishing rods have mending on them, so. Uh, pretty much all of this, all of this can be used to make good bows and fishing rods. And then, uh, not a lot of the bows have mending, but still a decent number of them. Um, I have actually made myself two pretty, pretty decent bows. Uh, this here is my mending bow. Power 5 and breaking 3, punch 2, flame, and mending. Uh, I want to get punch three, and I think that's it. I think that's all you can get. And then here's my infinity bow, which obviously needs, like, punch and flame. But after that, it will be good. Uh, but we're not going to be working on that today. Uh, last thing is just the not trash. Things that are actually useful, like Nautilus shells, name tags, bottles, leather, of which we have a lot of leather. Uh, bones, sticks, just because I really hate crafting extra sticks all the time. Lily pads, which are useful in farming. Ink sacks, uh, dying. And then tripwire hooks, just because I never remember how to make tripwire hooks. And then the last thing, which I put in its own box, or set of boxes, is, uh, saddles. Because we do get a lot of saddles. Alright, so what we're going to be doing today is we are going to start branching out um this will be one of probably a few side entrances into the castle that we're going to be be building up on this giant mountain and uh so what we're going to do today is we are going to uh dig out this way build a new fishing farm with its own storage uh which we will eventually upgrade into like an automatic shulker thing but obviously we haven't been to the end yet, and that's going to be something that we do with Eddie. And Jesus Christ, you guys are loud. That's right, you can't say shit now. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to go get prepared for that. And then I'll be right back to start working over here. 
one thing I forgot to mention is that we also have all four fish types over here. Uh, like we have the tropical fish, uh, which actually we have not caught enough to even fill every slot. Uh, then we got puffer fish up here, and I just go from top down when I place them. Uh, we got salmon in here, which I believe we have enough. Yep. And we uh, we have tons and tons of cod, so we will never go hungry. And uh, this is actually we're gonna keep this storage here, um, except for maybe these. We might move these uh, eventually. But we're also gonna do a separate one, so this will be like backup backup storage. Uh, which we might even just fill with shulker boxes of cod and salmon and puffer fish and probably not tropical fish because it's so rare. But yeah. One other thing that I quickly want to mention is that I did find the buried treasure. Um, that's why this is in my hand. That was like the last thing I did before this episode um, a couple nights ago. Um, I believe I put the contents of it in here. Oh, that was a mending book that Eddie found in... Oh, yeah, we have a Heart of the Sea. Which means we can make our first... Uh, what is it called? Conduit? Yeah. So, that's going to be cool. Um, and we'll probably do that with Eddie. And, yeah, it'll be, it'll be pretty cool. Anyway... I'm going to sort through my stuff, and then we'll actually start uh, working on the new fish farm. Okay, whoa. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to carve out a little entrance right here. Uh, we are going to put probably like dark oak pillars right here. Um, I want this area to look like it was just you know kind of dug out. We'll probably keep it just like this, because I want it to look like, almost like a man-made cave, uh, that we, you know, just kind of threw up. I mean, that's literally what it is, so, yeah. Uh, but this part of the, I guess, tunnel, uh, will totally be, like, actually a part of the castle, so it's gonna look very nice. And we're actually going to have the entire hallway four blocks tall. And uh, possibly even four blocks wide. Um, not including the walls. Uh, we're probably not going to get to like decorating it today. But we will definitely uh, at least dig it out. And make sure that there is enough room. For everything. Alright, so we are going to skip. Uh, this next clip is going to be um, pretty pretty well sped up, and it'll just be me digging, and then I'll do a little voiceover and let you guys know what the plan is. Alright, so, uh, almost finished digging out the first little section of this hallway. Um, if it looks kind of short, that's because, uh, I'm not sure how far back we're actually going to be going with this. Um, because we're going to have the actual fishing area here, and then a separate doorway for all the automated storage that we're going to be doing. Um, so I guess the first thing that we're going to be doing is, uh, we're going to go to sleep, because it's nighttime and... For some reason, we get a lot of creeper spawns, especially over here, so, yeah, I, I'm not sure what, what the deal is with that, but, uh, and then after that, we're going to get the dimensions for our current fish farm, which we're going to be closing probably in this episode, um, and it looks like the actual farm portion is only... Let's see, one, two, three tall, and obviously one wide. Three tall, one wide, 
by three. So one by three by three. Um, so that means that we could have gone with a single door. And actually, we probably should go with a single door. So we'll block that up. And then come over here. And so if it's only, how deep is this room? And this room kind of pushed the limits. So like, I was probably cut it off right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think that's probably good. I don't have any torches on me. Um, so I'm going to fix that real quick. See, this is exactly why I keep the sticks. Because now... I don't have to craft any sticks. And there will be none left over. And then we'll just put those in our offhand. Um, so yeah. Put one there for now. Put one here. And then uh, we'll dig out a little area. Um, so we want the wall right there. And don't worry, we will change it. So this room, say, how, how deep? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I think I actually, I want the fish farming to be right there. So, it's three that way. So we'll just take out two more over here, right? Yeah. And don't want it to be a perfect square so we will go like five by like or this is not five this is seven two three yeah seven by we'll go like seven by ten seven by eight seven by nine so this is two three four five six seven eight ah oh. Almost nine, two, three, four, five, six. Every time, man. And I lost count, so we're just gonna dig from over here. I didn't even count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Oh, look at that. Wait, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See that we messed up. It's a good thing we did it like that. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to where this entire area is dug out to how I like it. And I will be right back. Also with the books that I've gotten from fishing, um, we have this diamond pick, uh, which I probably should have been using over that crappy iron one, because it's uh, efficiency four, I'm breaking three and mending, and I'm not sure if we are gonna put, uh, not looting, uh, what is it, luck? Something, something like that. The one that gives you more when you, like, mine coal or something oh yeah so much easier but yeah we're gonna either put that or silk touch on here probably whichever one we get first uh, just because both are useful and actually it would be smart to put on silk touch first but anyway uh, I'm gonna finish digging this out all right so we have uh, a dugout uh, you may have noticed that I dug out the floor and I dug out this wall, 
uh, back one block, and I dug up the fourth block. Um, the only reason I did this is because uh, we're gonna actually like decorate this room, and it, it'll be fully done by the end of this video. And uh, pretty much this room will set what we do for the hallways and almost the entire castle. Um, and if you're wondering why this is all here, it's because we don't actually need to change any of those. I realized that almost after I dug it out, because uh, the floor will be here and the wall will be there. And the reason for that two thickness right here is because um, I want it just in case we decide to do the hallway differently. I want uh, I don't want to compromise the this wall of this room. So I'm gonna go look up uh, castle interiors and uh see what we can find i'm thinking we'll probably do like a dark oak like base i guess is what you would call it um and i like andesite uh so like maybe some polished andesite highlights uh but i am not totally sure yet so i'm gonna go look online just do some quick google searches and uh we'll get a good design off that this is what I'm talking about, guys. They're everywhere. I'm gonna use the infinity bow just to save on arrows for now. Um. Wow, that was bad. Oh my god. It's been too long since I actually used a bow. Where'd the other one go? Oh, I see him. I see his little feet. Hey, bro. Hey. Ooh, can I get that? Huh. Ooh, tell me I hit him, please. Oh my god. Why didn't he... He didn't even try to explode. Okay, well, that's the end of him. Okay, my pickaxe. Repair my pickaxe while I wait for stone to smelt. Alright. So, um, I think I have the basic room set up. Eventually, I am going to be putting glowstone up in the ceiling so we don't have to use torches. Um, it is a castle, so maybe torches work in the basement, but I want it to look nice and torches don't look nice uh, so next we're gonna be copying the fish farm out that way down and inserting it into this room oh god it's not even that's okay we can probably put it like right here so it'll be like a wrap around yeah that'll work Alright, so we have the little area, oops, um, we have the little fish farm built, and uh, it works pretty well. We have a little chimney up to the sky so that uh, we can get better fish. That door does not open, oops, as you can see, uh, and everything works just fine. If we just line it up right there, sit here for a minute, probably catch a fish pretty quickly. And there you go. And uh, I'll show you where that little chimney is in, in uh, like to reference. I guess you can't really see it. Oh, it's, I mean, it's pretty cool that you can't see it, but it is, it's just a big stone pillar. Yeah, I think it looks cool, I guess. Uh, what I think I might do is I might build the pillar part all the way up, and then do this layer thing around that. So really, the outside will be like a 5x5. Five five. Alright. Um, 
in this episode, I'm probably not going to do the storage, just because I know that it's getting kind of long here, so right now, we just have this chest, and oh, wow, that's what I just caught on camera, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, that's what's going to be, there's going to be another door right there, which is going to lead to the super storage area, and uh, I think we're just going to hold off on that for now. Uh, one, because this video is getting kind of long, and two, because I want to make an automatic shulker loader, but we don't have shulkers, so, yeah. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for this episode, um, make sure to tune in next week, um, I haven't decided what we're going to do in that episode, so I guess you'll find out, uh, in a week, so, thank you all for watching, and, uh, Stay tuned later today for the Red Dead Redemption video that is coming out. Alright, see you guys next time.